hey my love family welcome back to the channel guys how you all doing hope you're staying warm cozy safe and everything king thank you so much for returning <laughs> thank you so much for returning guys if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button like the channel share the channel comment underneath the channel okay guys today we're making some sorrel drink yes i'm gonna make some jamaican sorrel you know it's christmas time thanksgiving is coming up and we need the sorrel and everything yeah normally it's mostly christmas time we use the sorrel but you know thanksgiving we're gonna be doing some sorrel for thanksgiving also so i'm gonna make me myself some sorrel drink today and i'm gonna show you how i preserve my sorrel year to year because what i do every christmas when i make sorrel i don't do the same one that i make so i'm just gonna explain it to you so normally what i would do we call it drying the sorrel so i would draw the sorrel preserve it like put rum and stuff in it put that up for next christmas and then the one that i have the year before i just use that so don't worry this is not hennessy this is sorrel so this is just a prime example of what i'm talking about so last year i did this like what i'm gonna do now i have my pot here i'm gonna show you how i draw my sorrel and preserve it so this is sorrel i have a lot of these yes i keep them in NEC bottles because the NEC is really in the house so i draw the sorrel every year preserve it for the next year so what i'm gonna draw today for you i'll be using that next christmas these that i did last year i'll be using for this christmas but I'm gonna show you how I sweeten my sorrel and how I preserve my sorrel and everything. But this is a sorrel that I got. Here they call it hibiscus or sorrel or whatever. It's the same thing here, especially if you go to the Mexican supermarket, they call it the hibiscus, but it's the same sorrel. Let me open it. I didn't even pull it. It's like two pounds or so per pack. Yeah, it's the same thing. But I think they dehydrate them, so see? They dehydrate them, yeah. It's the same sorrel. They dehydrate them. So yeah, I'm gonna wash these off and everything. I'm gonna show you step by step process of how to preserve your sorrel for the next year and how to make and sweeten your sorrel, all right? So I have my pot. This is like a special occasion pot when I'm doing crazy big things, you know what I'm saying? Big, big things going on in the house. Holiday season, you'll be seeing a lot of this. So I'm gonna use maybe I'm gonna use say a gallon of water per per two pounds of sorrel or maybe yeah a gallon and a half it depends if it needs more I'll add more water because remember this is not juice this is sorrel you don't want it too thick but then you don't want it too thin you your sorrel just need that nice balance you know what I'm saying and I got some port wine I'll add port wine to it but you see the reason why this is all down here? I decided to make a fruit cake for Christmas and Thanksgiving also. I did it once, let me turn this off. I did it once and it turned out marvelous. Maybe it's beginner's luck or something, I don't know. But I'm gonna try it again. So since I didn't prepare for it, I didn't have fruits and stuff. But I got my fruits, so I put them to soak. I still need to steam them so I can process them so they can be soft and everything. But don't worry, I'll be showing you that video. But I'm just saying, this is the port wine. I always add a tip of wine to my sorrel. Either, wine, either red wine, ribena, or port wine or anything. But we went to the Jamaica supermarket the other day and I saw ribena. So I got the Ribena. So I'm gonna add a little Ribena and a little port wine to that, but I won't be doing the red wine since I have so many wines going on. You understand what I'm saying? Even though um, the Ribena is not wine, but since I have the port wine, I don't need the red wine. Normally if I don't have Ribena or the port wine, I'll add my red wine and you know, sweeten up my sorrel and everything. But I have so many wines going on. And of course I'm not leaving out my white Jerry and Navy rum because we need that in the sorrel and in the fruit cake also so yes we have all of that so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna catch up some water for my sorrel i'm gonna wash my sorrel i'll be showing you everything step by step how i do it so as i said maybe i'm using a gallon and a half of water for my two pounds of sorrel right here and i'm gonna be needing some cloves some pimento some ginger and guys 
it might look like I'm using a lot of ginger trust me it's not a lot of ginger the thing is the ginger here it's not strong there's no effect in it you have to use like a ton to get like a little flavor of ginger even though you're not making ginger drink or something but I'm just gonna have to use extra ginger to just get a little tint of ginger taste if you get what I'm saying yeah so I'm trying to let me find my clothes I have clothes and I have um yeah these are my clothes I have pimento and I'm gonna get my white rare navy rum of course oh I think this is more than enough water I'm gonna put this on my right hair Turn it on and I'm gonna prepare all my stuff and I'm gonna show you. Okay, so let's cover up that baby and then I'm just gonna show you everything. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna grab all my ingredients and then link back with you. Yeah, so this is the Ribena, the one that I got, the one and only Ribena. I've been trying to find this for so many years and I finally found it, you know what I'm saying? And as mentioned, this is the port one. I'll be using some of this with the Ribena in my sorry i got my clothes right here some ginger i'm gonna wash these honestly as i said it looks like a lot but guys it's not a lot my pimento fell over this is the pimento that i have it's straight pimento straight straight from jamaica these pimentos are so different because the ones that i got here they're big and flavorless yes so I'm smashing some of the ginger. And what I think I'll be doing, I'll be grating some of the ginger so it gives a little more ginger cake, which it's not gonna taste like ginger, but you just need that flavor. And of course, my J. Ray and And we're gonna be needing some sugar, all right? So I'm gonna wash these. But let's first sort out our sorrel. So this is the sorrel. This is it. That's it. I'm gonna throw it in there. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wash that when the water is boiling. But I don't wanna wash it now to get rid of all my little good red, 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 redness. So I'm gonna set that aside. Before I add the sorrel, I'll be going in with the ginger, the cloves, and the pimento, like for a few minutes before I put the, um, the sorrel in. So they can boil like a minute, okay? Step by step, step by step. Cause I be leaving this for overnight and then tomorrow I won't be using this as I mentioned I won't be using this for um for this Christmas I'm gonna preserve it same like how I did that one in the Hennessy bottle that I was sweetening yeah and a lot of people use um like rice to ferment it and to preserve it I don't I don't add any rice I just add like the rare navy and some pimento seeds and that's how I do it and it it's it's good as new it's delicious yeah so i'm just going to drink some of the ginger into it yeah that's the the water is not boiling in so i'm just bottle comes in handy this is what i'm gonna use it for We just beat in the ginger. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just gonna put it right there. You see how it looks like a lot of ginger? Hell no. Even when I'm making natural juice and stuff, and I'm using ginger, I have to use like a lot to get a little ginger flavor from it. So that's that. Ginger is flying everywhere, guys. Ginger is all over. I'm going to have to wipe this off. So I'm basically finished with the ginger. Let me just scrape this off. I'm finished with the ginger. That says, look who decides to join me. Alicia, say hi. Say hi. Say hi, bro. You going to make sour drink with mama? Huh? You're not gonna help your mama? You're gonna make juice? Drink? Sawyer? You're gonna make sawyer? Say hi and bye.
going to go in with the ginger and I'm going to stretch it again. I'm going to stress it. It's not a lot of ginger. The ginger here, it's flavorless, okay? So, trust me. It's not a lot of ginger. It just looks like a lot, but it's not. It's not, it's not, it's not. So that's the ginger in. I'm going to go in with some cloves right now. Maybe a palm full of cloves. And it all depends on what amount of um, sorrel you're making. It all depends on the amount. And the same thing, I'm going with a palm full of pimento. And now I'm just going to go over and wash my sorrel. Just leave this for a few minutes. I'm just gonna wash this in with some cold water. Okay, some cold running water. And as you can see, you see it's red? Yeah. <laughs> I don't wanna lose all that redness. So I'm just trying to wash it off. But it's okay. You don't want to lose all of that. So, yeah. Guys, this smells so good. Like, so good. The cloves, the pimento, and the ginger. Mm, it gives that oh, nice aroma. Okay, I'm going in now with the sorrel. And once I put the sorrel in, I'm gonna turn off the flame. Hold on. Let me show you something already. You see? You see the water already? Yep. And I'll be leaving this overnight. So I'm gonna turn off my flame now. Remember, you have to get your water boiling. Once the sorrel is in, you can just like leave it for maybe say a minute or so. Then you turn off your flame, cover this up, leave it overnight. I think when you leave the sorrel overnight, it's better. Yeah, so this is it and it looks so rich already. And guys, if your sorrel is too thick, you can always add some water to it. Yep, so this is smelling so good. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. So all those pimento seeds, all those clove seeds. Yep. This sorrel will be for next year. You see that? You see how red it's getting? Let me use a spoon because this is not taking it up. Just look at the color already. You see that? And it's just like less than three minutes in less than three minutes in and it's so red so i'm gonna cover this up and i'm leaving this overnight so tomorrow i don't sh i don't i'm not sure i'll be i'm sorry guys that's the oven i add it on um self-clean so i think it's finished but you still cannot open it because it's hot you cannot open it but as i was saying for the soil i'm gonna leave this overnight for tonight tomorrow i'm just gonna strain it off once it's cool and bottle it up, pour a little white rainbow rum in it and just store it in a cool, dark, dry place until next year. Yes. So since I have mine from last year, this is exactly how I did it. And I'm just going to show you how I sweeten. Alrighty, guys. And I'm going to say it again. This is the sorrel that I preserved from last year. Just as It's the oven again. Hold on. There we go. So, as I was saying, this is the sorrel, as mentioned before, that I preserved from last year. I'm going to sweeten this to show you how I sweeten my sorrel. I won't be doing a lot because I'll be using some for um, Thanksgiving and some for Christmas. So, I'm just going to sweeten some today just to show you how I sweeten my sorrel. And with the sugar, it all depends on you. Because sorrel, it takes a lot of sugar, but it all depends on you. You can, you know, adjust the amount you want. Oh, just look at the color of this. 
it's like a red wine you see that mm-hmm this was last year I only put rare navy rum in it and um, some pimento and stuff you know what maybe I should just okay so now I'm going in with um some of the Ribena I'm gonna pour some of the Ribena in it maybe a half a cup or something because I'm not doing a lot and I'll be using this for um, Thanksgiving so I'm gonna pour maybe half a cup of um, the porridge wine also yes so we're just gonna throw this up in it yeah because we have we have to have some space for the sugar because we need like <clears throat> A few spoons of sugar in it to get the taste the desired taste and remember you sweeten to your liking and of course I'm gonna put my rum in it but I won't be doing that as yet until I'm finished so this is one spoon I'm using two spoons so far but you all know sorry it takes a lot of sugar okay so let's mix this up and see and you see it's not too thick and it's not too thin it just have that right amount of the right consistency hash sorrel should have you know what I'm saying yep and we're gonna serve this over some ice ah, this is gonna be so delish this is gonna be so delish you want to make sure the sugar is well, 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 well mixed out. You don't want no sugar at the bottom of that. Mmm, so it stays. Mmm, oh my god. Mmm, the sorrel hits. I'm gonna put some more sugar in it. But honestly, where is that with sugar now? I could have it like that, but I'm just gonna put. A spoonful more, but the you know I don't know if you know you know the sorrel taste when it hits you it hits you. Wait, I'm going in with my I'm just gonna use a cart full of my rare navy because I already had some in this when I was preserving it from last year. So I'm just gonna pour a cart full and just pour that in. The good good Mr. Ray and his navy, of course. Guys, the sorrel hits the spot. It hits the spot. Let me taste it again. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. The sorrel is. You know, since last year, Christmas, I didn't have any sorrel, and this was in the house, but I chose not to. So it's my first sorrel drink or taste of sorrel from last year. And it's good. It's good. And the sugar is perfect. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, I think the Ribena and the port wine. Guys, if you can get, I know like most of you can get the Ribena. But the port wine, just try a little. If you don't have the port wine, try some red wine in it. But the port wine is a little sweeter so it's it's like it gives it this different oh my god Woo. jesus oh <laughs> oh my god can you see this you think like well this is not a lot this is just like just to show you but this i think this is just gonna finish by tonight everyone in the house loves sorry i have to taste it again mm. I'm gonna pour some of the ice. Oh my god, no. I cannot. I cannot wait. I'm just gonna have to pour some over ice. This is too good. Let me get a glass. I'm gonna get some ice, guys. And 
it's best to serve your sorrel chill so it's best to leave it like in the fridge like overnight or so before the next day when you know you're gonna use it because the ice is just gonna water it down but for now since I just made it I'm just gonna have a little just look at the color just look at the color it's not too thick as you can see it's not too thin normally I don't like mine with a lot of ice but you know it's hot and I just make it so I'm gonna just give it a little mm. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. One more. Ooh. Mm -mm. Oh, the port wine and the Ribena. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. My God. Ooh. With a little bit of Mr. Navy on his Mr. Ray and his Navy. Mm. Remember, this was started from last year preserving, but I didn't use any rice. I just added some pimento and the good old Mr. Ray and his Navy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is good. This is really good. Everyone is going to enjoy this. This is really good. Mm -mm. Guys, this is so good. Oh my God. Guys, I want you to try yours with a little bit of wine and some Ribena. And comment and tell me how it was. But, stay tuned because I'll be coming up with a video for um, the fruit cake, the Jamaica Christmas cake or anything. So as I mentioned, I'll be using some of the same port wine and I already put the fruits in soap so i'll be doing that sometime very soon but it's gonna be for thanksgiving i'm sorry it's gonna be for thanksgiving so guys i want you to try this this is so delicious this is so it's just refreshing it just hit the sorrel spot it hits the christmas spot it takes me back it's like oh yeah christmas is here christmas is coming this is it this is it you need to give this a shot guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel go ahead and hit that subscription button hit that subscribe button give it a like share comments and hit the notification bell that every time i upload a video you will get notified when your girl put up a new video you get what i'm saying yes so i'm gonna sip on this sorrel until next time guys have a blessed one